We're here with John Sviokla, the co-author of a book called The Self-Made Billionaire Effect. And John, you know what I thought was interesting? First of all, it's the largest uh, research project ever done with self-made billionaires. That's correct. And you found a couple of very interesting um, kind of outcomes from that research. Share the one about, I mean, do they have to find a blue ocean? Uh, no, you really don't, Vern, have to find a blue ocean. The, one of the most surprising things was that 82%, more than four out of five of the billionaires we studied, made their money in highly competitive contested markets, whether it's food or clothing or real estate uh, or printing. And it's just amazing. So market maturity is really more of a point of view problem than it is an economic reality. And so what they did is they just went at those markets differently. They went at those markets differently. And, and we talked about uh, five habits of mind, basically yes. how imaginative they are about what they can do, um, how they execute differently, how they think about risk differently, how they follow things till they're ripe and then execute. And then they really pair up for leadership with someone who can complement their skills. And talk about that last one, and particularly the mistake we make inside our own companies about breaking these pairs up. So talk about this duality. Absolutely. Um, if you peel back the onion on any billion dollar opportunity, right. you usually find at its core what we call a producer. And they're usually paired with a person we call a performer. And they work together like Gates and Balmer or Tom Zagunda, Mike Bloomberg, and it's or Jobs and Cook, Jobs and Cook, yeah. um, and uh, or <laughs> Jagger and Richards in, yeah, <laughs> in exactly. music. Um, the and that combination often yeah. in corporations gets broken up into an individual or a team. So you say, okay, who's going to be the leader, and then who's his or her team going to be? And it's really about the complementarity of those two. And the way to think about it too is it's like builder and architect. The architect is the designer of value, it gets really detailed as well, and the builder helps that person develop that value. So it's not thinker doer, dreamer doer. It's really about people and how to deliver value together. And the other thing I noticed in the research, and I've seen this myself in this executive program I've run, uh, hosted at MIT for all these years, is uh -huh. that these billionaires actually came out of large companies. Talk about this. They actually yes. went to work first. Yeah, in our sample, um, uh, two-thirds of them did, 66% worked for large companies before, and a quarter of them were fired out of the companies. And yeah. and many of them brought the idea they wanted to do to the companies, and the companies just couldn't recognize that here was the talent that could really deliver new value. Yeah, and so if you've got a young entrepreneur out there, you know, we've often encouraged, go work for a large company, build your network, learn how things are done, right. and then spin out if the big company's not willing to support you. Yeah, one of the interesting findings, too, is that uh, we found that most of the self-made billionaires came from a combination of sales uh, sales and or profit and loss responsibility early in their career. Right. So they had all the levers. Mm -hmm. And the kind of innovation they have is really twofold. One is they have the innovation itself, like what is it that the market wants and, and how are we going to get out and do something new? And they don't always get it right. They're fine with failure. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is they know how to package up that idea in a way to get resources. And those are really two separate innovations because most resource pools, people who control resources inside an organization or venture or whatever, they have a sweet spot. They have a kind of thing they like to invest in. And the really good ones know how to make the linkage between their idea and their design. And then the next innovation about how to package it up for the right resource you know, access. Well, John, the book is phenomenal. It's got very practical ideas of what people need to do. Even if you're not going to get to a billion, it's going to get you a lot further than where you are today. So thank you for writing. My pleasure.